Before that kingdom, the earth being filled with violence. What was the situation on earth before the time of that kingdom? Firstly, the earth was filled with violence. Why was the earth filled with violence? Because there was no deputy authority, no one who was authorized to rule over others. There was no deputy authority over men before the flood. Suppose that today there were no local state or federal government, would we still be able to live peacefully? No, the land would be filled with violence. No one could sleep well at night, for all would fear that their possessions would be stolen. Because there was no government before the flood, the earth was filled with violence. As we shall see in the next message, the government during that time was man's conscience. In the garden, before the fall, man was directly under the rule of God, the divine government. After the fall, man was under the rule of his own conscience. However, the government of the conscience, or we may say self-government, did not work well. The result of this self-government was that the whole earth was filled with violence. Thus, after the flood, God authorized man to rule over other men, and human government began. Men not caring for God's interest. Secondly, before that kingdom, men did not care for God's interest. According to Luke chapter 17, verse 26 to 27, before the flood, men were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. No one cared for God's interest. Eventually, God's judgment came upon them. In that kingdom, things were different after the flood. Under the ruling of God's deputy authority, which was a shadow of the kingdom of God, the situation was different. After the flood, the earth was filled with peace. We know this because chapter 9 verse 20 says that Noah planted a vineyard. Micah chapter 4 verse 3 to 4 indicates that when the people of God have a vineyard, it means that there is peace on earth. These verses in Micah, which refer to the coming kingdom, tells us that men shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks because there will no longer be war, and that every man shall sit under his own wine and fig tree. This means that there is peace. That Noah planted a vineyard proves that he was enjoying peace in the kingdom. At that time, there was no violence. The proper church life today is a real vineyard where there is no fighting but rest. Man being recovered back to the beginning. In that kingdom, man was recovered back to the purpose that God had for man at the beginning, to express and represent God. It is very interesting to see that some of the words spoken in chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, are repeated here in Genesis 9. This means that after the flood, man was brought back to the beginning to fulfill God's purpose, to have the one goal of expressing God and representing Him, resulting in the rebellion of Babel. When we come to the end of the Bible, we see that the kingdom will result in a, well, a very unpleasant situation in a great rebellion is the same with the type in the book of Genesis. How good it was that Noah enjoyed peace in the kingdom and that mankind was recovered back to the beginning to fulfill God's purpose. However, the issue of it all was the rebellion at Babel. The rebellion of mankind at Babel was altogether due to the work of Satan. Satan usurping men to misuse the God-given authority to form nations. Satan usurped men to misuse the God-given authority over others to form nations. God gave men authority to rule over others that there might be peace. But Satan usurped men and caused him to misuse this authority to form nations. Although God did have the intention that men rule over others, he did not intend for men to form nations. The forming of nations was the work of Satan. Satan caused men to misuse his authority, using it to form nations and to establish little empires for men himself.